Okay, everyone, I need your attention. We are, you know that you registered in a communication class and a part of that is to do speeches. So today I would like to give you some tips that can help you do better with your public speaking skills or just presentations in general. So please do pay attention. All right, the first slide that I have here for you is some of the things that you should not do when you are presenting a speech. For example, do not use any inappropriate words, do not use any vocal fillers, do not use words such as whatever, you guys, you know what I mean, etc. Now, if you use these words once, it's okay. If you use them twice, it's okay. But if you use them a third time, that means that I see a pattern. So I do need you to eliminate those words. In addition, when you do a presentation, you're doing a professional presentation, that, that's, for, that's why your English has to be good. We cannot have any bad grammar. So please make sure that you speak appropriate English. Um, and then you want to make sure that you are prepared, so please do not come to class saying that you are not, all right? Um, going back to bad grammar here, I have an example here for you, like uh, the word he ain't this, he ain't that, you know, that's an example of using bad grammar, so please just try to eliminate similar words, all right? Part two. Um, other things that you should consider when you're doing your speech, you want to have good eye contact with your audience. Your audience usually uh, will be your classmates, but let's say if you are at a party or at a wedding, your audience will be the people that are sitting in that environment. So eye contact is extremely important. So you should be looking at them, not looking at the floor, not looking at the ceiling, or not staring at just one specific person and making them feel uncomfortable. So. In addition, do not stop your presentation. Um, if you're doing a speech in a, in a classroom setting, you don't want to lie about the data, the facts, the statistics. Just be honest, it's not smart to do that. Um, and then, you know, usually you will have someone that might be asking you a question or if you do have a question in your speech, the best thing to do will be to wait until the end of the, that presentation and then you can ask your audience if they have any questions or if you do have a question for them, then you can do that at the end of your presentation. I don't recommend for you to lie about the answer. If you don't know the answer to something, just be honest with your audience and say, I don't have that information. Let me do my research and I will get back to you. And that is the best thing that you can do. All right. So here are some of the tips or some of the things that you should do. Um, strongly recommended that at the start of a speech you introduce yourself. It's polite to do so. Uh, it's welcoming. So I recommend that you do that. You want to thank your audience for being present in your presentation. Again, and as, as I said earlier, you want to have strong eye contact and good body language. In other words, body language is nonverbal communication. So that means like moving around. Like for example, you see how I'm moving. Uh, when I'm doing this presentation, I'm not staying in one place. You want to use your your leg, you want to use your hands, you want to use your facial expressions and all of that. So body language is a good component to have. All right, and part two, you want to smile, a natural smile, not a fake smile. You want to smile, um, try the best that you can to control your anxiety and your breathing. If you have to take a moment, then just take a moment. That's absolutely fine. Take the questions from your audience at the end of the presentation. Number four here for you is dress nicely. Uh, dress professionally, take your time to take care of yourself. And I'm not saying you should buy expensive dresses or expensive outfits, but you need to look presentable. So, you know, just don't come to the classroom or don't go to an event with, you know, jeans or PJs, because that is not how you want to do that. Um, in addition here, we have that uh, technology problems. Now, if you have a presentation that will be in front of a lot of people, let's say like 100 people, 200 people or more, you need to check your technology. It happens all the time that sometimes your technology doesn't work and then you're gonna have to still do the presentation, but then now you don't have the technology back up. So please make sure that you come to the event or the class or whatever it is early so you can take care of the technology problems. And then towards the end over here is be open-minded. Please do not think that you know everything. Do not 
think that you know the world is your way or the highway you have to be open-minded you have to understand that especially in uh, you know the educational environment especially in the classroom you have to understand that there's a lot of diversity so people do think differently and you have to be open-minded to understand new concepts to understand new ideas and to grow because it is important to grow uh, professionally and personally all right and that's it for today Thank you for your attention. I hope that these tips can help you do better with your speeches.